From the bustling clinics to the rugged wilderness, these series offer a glimpse into the world of vets and their tireless efforts to heal, rescue, and protect animals of all shapes and sizes. Whether you're an animal lover, aspiring vet, or simply looking for captivating stories of compassion and resilience, this list is a must watch. So join us as we celebrate the dedicated professionals who care for our beloved animal companions with this list of the best TV shows about veterinarians. A quick disclaimer before we start, keep in mind that in this countdown we're featuring only scripted shows and that these series are listed in no particular order. With that out of the way, this is TV Show Pilot, and here are our top 8 TV shows about vets. All Creatures Great and Small We'll start off this countdown with one of three shows about one of the most well-known fictional vets, James Harriet. Based on Alf White's novels, the 1978 series follows James Harriet, a young veterinary surgeon who moves to the Yorkshire Dales to work at a rural veterinary practice. Set in the mid-1930s at the start of the show's seven-season run, All Creatures sees James learn to work together with his eccentric boss Siegfried Farnan and Siegfried's brother Tristan while adjusting to his new life as a country vet. All Creatures Great and Small In 2020, a reboot of the 1978 series was released that has since become just as big of a success as the original show. This modern take of All Creatures Great and Small is still set in the Yorkshire Dales in the late 1930s and again follows the young veterinarian James Harriet as he embarks on his career at a country veterinary practice. So we see James, Siegfried, and Tristan take care of the practice in Skeldale House and encounter many of the charms and challenges of country life while out on calls, including quirky farmers, beloved pets, and livestock, whose well-being means everything to the people that are raising them. Young James Harriet. If you loved any or both of the All Creatures versions, then this next one is also a must-watch for you. As the name suggests, Young James Harriet tells the story of Harriet's early life before he was invited to work at Skeldale House. The three-episode prequel covers Harriet's years at the Glasgow Veterinary College as he trains to become the veterinary surgeon we all know and love. Wild at heart. We move from England to South Africa with these next two shows. The British drama Wild at Heart follows the Trevanian family, who leave their life in Bristol to start a new adventure running a game reserve in South Africa. What begins as a simple family trip to Africa to keep an eye on the abandoned vervet monkey that the family's patriarch Danny is asked to treat ends up changing their lives forever as they decide to settle in the picturesque South Africa and turn an old property into a game reserve and an animal hospital. Life is wild. Wild at Heart was so successful that in 2007, The CW came out with their own adaptation. In Life is Wild, we meet Danny Clark, a New York veterinarian who decides to relocate his family to a game reserve in South Africa in the hopes that he can heal the tensions between his second wife and their two sets of kids. But it's not that simple. And as the new family attempts to ease into the completely different way of life, on a game reserve run by Danny's former father-in-law, no less, drama arises and their new family dynamics are tested more than ever. Rain Shadow Then there is Australian series Rain Shadow. Set in the fictional town of Paringa, located in the drought-stricken Australian outback, the show follows the lives of local veterinarians Kate McDonald and Jill Blake. The show revolves around the challenges faced by the two women as they try to keep their practice afloat while dealing with the harsh climate, tough locals, and various animal-related mysteries in the area. Heartland Jumping from Australia to Canada, we have the long-running Canadian family drama Heartland. Based on Lauren Brooks' series of novels of the same name, Heartland follows the Fleming Bartlett family as they run their family's ranch in Alberta, Canada. Though the central protagonist, Amy Fleming, isn't a veterinarian, she inherited her late mother's natural skill with horses and helps them as a horse trainer. And there are also quite a few core characters on the show who are vets, including the ranch's main vet, Scott Cardinal, as well as Amy's future husband, Ty Borden, who we see going from a reluctant ranch hand to a beloved town vet. Sakanui Animal Clinic and we'll end off this list with one foreign language show, Sakanui Animal Clinic. This Japanese series focuses on Tatsuya, a young veterinarian who quits his job at an animal hospital to go work at a small veterinary practice in his hometown of Tokyo, under the tutelage of Tokumaru. But when Tokumaru suddenly entrusts the practice to Tatsuya and disappears, 
Tetsuya is forced to find his own way and care for the animals and, at times, their owners. Do you agree with our picks for the top 8 TV shows about vets? Let us know in the comments! Check out TVShowPilot.com for the full list of the best veterinarian series. And don't forget to subscribe to the TV Show Pilot YouTube channel for more videos like this.